All right. In three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yay. All right. There we go. Hopefully that went smoothly. But both players are starting. All right. So anyway, the the map itself. Which what, what part do you think was the the most challenging to like get your get your head around? Uh, I I just had a hard time getting a feel for the flow of this. Is what I felt like. The, the, I, I don't know how to put it. It the conveyors from, are tricky. Yeah, they are. From the there was a, about a minute at the start where I went, why would he make a jump at the start that you can't even do? <laughs> I just couldn't wrap my head around. I was like, oh, I could actually stay on this belt much longer than I think I can. Yeah, the, it, it, it makes you think that you have to jump way sooner than you actually do. But once you do get the hang of that, as we can see, both Bear and I think uh, Jasky have already gotten that. Uh, roughly yeah. about the same speed as, as you and Dan did. Uh, yeah. I will say I didn't get a chance to say it, but uh, I want to brag immensely that I got the first checkpoint without pressing Z once. That I, you know, I it's it was a bold play, but it it was impressive. It, I think that did make it definitely harder on you uh, for for that point because it. I will say, as the designer of the map, those jumps were intended to be spin jumps. So doing them without spin jumps is possible, but definitely more difficult. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we can already see Baird using the start over strat. Which I do believe is slightly faster. Is slightly faster. It is slightly faster than oh, than just goodness. dying. If I'm not, he's uh, on another level. Uh, it, it, it's it's not a huge amount, but maybe over the course of an hour, it could give you an extra thirty seconds or so, maybe. Wow. But uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get to the second section once a player has made it that far. But uh, I I was surprised. You know, I I I said it during the commentary, but uh, I, it wasn't so much that you were playing bad as much as I think Dan actually played much better than a lot of people expected. Um, well, I was I I again I'm not trying to disparage Dan in any way, but when someone in my chat was like Dan is as far as you, I was like, are you joking? <laughs> and then and then a lot of people said it. And I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, it's uh, you. You pulled a lead, uh, uh, not super early, but uh, at some point you pulled the, the lead through that. Uh, I think you died to a pit, uh, mm -hmm. very close to the checkpoint. That gave you a pretty sizable lead on him. And then about a couple minutes later, he also died to that saw. So I wasn't sure if the pit or the saw was further. So it was so close that I didn't even know who was in the lead at that point. Um, but then the the big difference, of course, came when you got that checkpoint. That was, I think, most people were like, "All right, Justin's probably got this." Once I got the checkpoint, I, I was very relieved. It, it basically started another timer uh, for Dan. Like, if he didn't get that checkpoint within a certain distance of you getting the checkpoint, it would have been impossible to win. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, a, a close game and a fun one. Uh, looking so far at Jask, I think both of them, neither of them have made it to the tunnel yet. I've been focusing more on talking to you than watching, but uh, they... They both seem to pretty quickly have grasped the momentum of the conveyors, and I think it's just a matter of learning the jumps now. But uh, but how do you feel about about each of them? Do you do you see any or either of them kind of pulling ahead early, or you think they're going to be neck no, and neck? Honestly, the way? I I thought they would be. Uh, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. <laughs> I thought they would be doing better already. Uh, maybe. Uh, apparently, Bear accidentally exited the game instead of starting over. That is the risk of starting <laughs> over, as well that as is a big risk. if you're if you get a checkpoint, you can no longer start over because then it will pull you back away from the checkpoint, and that would be a yeah. a huge issue. You'd still get credit for the checkpoint in the the tournament, but then you wouldn't be able to progress from that checkpoint. So that could definitely cost you a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Bear, though, I think he's the first one into the tunnel here. Wow. Yeah. Bear got to that tunnel very quickly. He did. And uh I don't think I hit that tunnel for ten minutes. Yeah, I think I think both these players are gonna definitely make more progress here. Uh than 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 you and, and Dan. Uh Jasky's still struggling a little bit with the first couple of jumps, so I think in this whole section, once you get the spin jump down, it's really these mm -hmm. first few jumps that, that hurt you over and over again, especially this this section right here of the, the downward facing say, conveyors. Yeah, once I would hit the tunnel, I'd feel good. Yeah, and I, where I got hung up specifically was there's a tiny jump you have to do right at the end. Uh, I'm the, waiting for someone to get there to point out. That's where I had the most trouble. That tiny jump got in my head the whole time, it and I kept getting to it and doing a big jump instead. Yeah, it seemed like the uh, the small tunnel right after the big tunnel was what you were struggling most on, from my view. Uh, it was like uh, you would jump up into the small tunnel and then jump out down into the small or out of the small tunnel, hmm. and it seemed like you hit the right saw of that one a lot. Uh, but that was just from from what I could see. It was hard to watch both streams at once. But uh, I think both players are... Are they both doing the start over strat now, or is it still just bare? 
Oh, that's just still bear. Yeah. But now that now that you've played one of the maps, and and I, I'll mm. say for from my perspective, this is about the middle of the road map. Maybe slightly harder than middle of the road, but this is okay. about the difficulty of all the maps on average uh, going forward. Are you are you looking forward to, to to that difficulty, or do you think it might be a little, a little frustrating overall? No, I'm feeling good about it. Uh, like I legitimately think I would have done better today. If I uh, like moving forward, I got to consider using my dual shock four again because I haven't been doing that. I'm using the analog stick for this, which is something I have legitimately never done in a platform. Really? See, I, I personally also yeah. use the control stick, but I understand that a lot of people are D pad favored. I've been D pad forever, but the last few weeks I've been all analog just because I, I didn't hook up the dual shock four. So I'm thinking about maybe switching over to that could help i mean it a lot of people have their own controller preference but i think it's important for every person to have the controller they prefer whether it's considered yeah. the best controller or not doesn't really matter as long as it's the one that you like the most hmm. but yeah i don't i i think bear is uh the only one who's made it past the tunnel so far unless i miss jasky uh <clears> i'll have <throat> to pay attention a bit more i'm thinking i said this earlier but i'm gonna probably have to get some people to keep track of the leads for me when it's this close yeah yeah uh, it goes by pretty quick, uh, even though I do have both streams up full screen. <laughs> I am proud about how far I got. There, there, like, there's a part of me I'm, I'm of course hoping everyone does good, but in my head I'm like, yo, what if I got the furthest today? That would be cool, Jasky. Though it could happen. He's caught up, but yeah, goes a Jasky's bit doing it now. Too far. Ooh. I think that was either the same as Bear or further than Bear. We'll see what he does here. He falls right into the pit. I've never seen someone fall there before, actually. That was, yeah, that was, I that, don't think I fell through anything at one point in this map. Yeah, that was an impressive, uh, an impressive death at the very least. Um, I think uh, I do have a, a stat man who's going to be collecting stats for these games, and I think mm -hmm. the key death, the stat here will be saw deaths, I think. We'll see who has the most of those. Um, because uh, it, it's, again, that, that it, you, you mentioned immediately uh, that the weirdness of the conveyors is, is it throws you for a loop. It's just not what you'd expect it to do uh, yeah but once you do have it, it it's it's cool i kind of like the flow of the map once you got the, the fuel for the jumps for it mm -hmm. jasky just died in the same spot again at his at his pb yeah it's uh it's it's close i think every match is going to be close until someone gets that checkpoint that's the big difference maker is when mm -hmm. someone gets a checkpoint because all the areas are so hard that if someone gets that little tiny jump at the end and the other person has to reset like 10 20 more times um, then uh, that could cost you a lot of room. It gives the other person a, a huge advantage being able to see that next section uh, first. Jasky's doing well, though. He's making big progress here. Oh, yeah. That's, that was a common death in. for you and Dan. That that Those two long jumps were a struggle, yes. it seemed like. Those were rough. But Jasky now with a, a significant lead on to Bear, which is a uh, surprise. I, I, I thought both of them were very close, but you know, watching... Both of them play the last couple of days. I felt like Bear was was doing better in in my eyes. But uh, yeah. I, I, I get, this is how Mario works. I think, and if you don't have that huge difference of skill, then it it's essentially uh, equal, even if there is a slight difference. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see Bear opting. How do you feel about this? Opting for no spin jumps in the tunnel. Uh, in the tunnel, yeah. See, the tunnel was where I I didn't really feel the tunnel was easy in my opinion without spins because you just have to do tiny tiny uh, tiny taps. Tiny that's taps. What it's oh tiny taps. he now this time he does do spin jumps. See, he seems to be mixing it up a little bit. Um, yeah, he spins sometimes and not others. It's uh it, the the spin jump. The reason I think that it's it's more useful is because uh, it, it gives you more control over your vertical height than uh, as what people were telling me yeah yes. it, it it's my it's, problem is as someone who is like not really used spin jumps ever and like in general just feels incompetent with a controller mm -hmm. uh oh jasky i have a hard oh. time doing tiny spin jumps my finger wants to jam them into being big spin jumps every time yeah that can You're be tied up now huh apparently bear yeah hit the hit the same yeah. saw and we're tied up they've hit the same saw at this point yeah this is where you and dan were for a while that's rough at 15 minutes yeah See, I feel like at 15 minutes, I hadn't made it consistently oh, it's, it's this far at all. only nine and a half minutes, not even 15. Oh my goodness, it's nine and a half minutes. Yes, yeah. I think these players are showing that they are the top two, at least right now. So my... I think moving forward, I need to I need to do some Z practice. Yeah, 
for sure. I mean, the yeah. good the good news is now you actually what, can practice the, this map. You're, you none of the competitors yeah, were allowed to, something to practice on. None of the competitors were allowed to play these maps until the tournament, and now that they've played them, they can put some practice towards them and and try to uh, to get better. You know, at them. Uh, would you say that you tried to keep it where you've got? I don't want to call them tricks, but like, 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 do are am I expecting to see more fast conveyor belts in no, the future and I, saws, or you, is this the one time you'll see a lot of saws? The saws are in most maps, if not all maps, uh -huh. because they're just a really good damage block. They've got a good hitbox, mm -hmm. and uh, the the spike traps and the munchers have a really bad hitboxes. So I, I tend yeah, to the munchers use, are a little rough. I tend to use saws as damage hitboxes because they're big. Yeah. They're easy to, you know, you can actually clip a saw and not actually die to it, which is why I like them a lot too. They give you that that room to yeah, work yeah. with. Um, but no, each map has 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 a theme to it for sure. Um, uh, and uh, in each, I tried to keep uh, precision maps and uh, and I'll, I'll call them more Kaizo style maps separate. So there are some maps that will test your your multitasking skills. You could probably you probably uh -huh. saw them in the trailer. Uh, yeah. Well, I I actually I didn't I was like I can't watch. Oh, the trailer, trailer. Yeah. The trailer. I, was just, I didn't watch the pre-show because I was like I don't want any spoilies. But yeah, the uh, yeah that those maps. I'm, I'm very excited to watch those maps because I don't know if any of the six competitors have Kaizo experience. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's a, say it's a different I skill set. I practiced your Wolf Seven One yesterday. Uh, one seven, the Dizzy Desert. One seven. Sorry, no <laughs> two seven. Two seven. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's like bouncy bob bombs. And stuff. Yeah. Yes, I felt really good at that. That I, I was able to clear it. That I yeah. In the past, but that's that that's when I watched you play that a little bit that night, and it was uh, you but made when, it when through you say the multitasking and like precision stuff. You talking about that kind of thing? No, that's that's pretty much just precision, honestly. Um, the the multitasking is is yeah, it inv most of the time it involves picking up and throwing things. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um. I feel like I'm getting better at that. That is definitely one of my weak points. Yeah, no, I, if I, I had to pick I, my Mario weakness. It would be Z or that. I think all six competitors are not going to be used to it because it is like, you know, like uh, Panga, for example. You know, a very very high skill Mario player. Um, he he is exceptional at the Kaizo stuff, but he's actually not as good at the precision stuff. So a map like this, he he actually will struggle with a map like this. Um, mm -hmm. But he'll absolutely destroy a, a Kaizo map. So that's a different skill. So seeing who has that that skill is going to be really interesting, and yeah. and both players here. I mean, we're not talking too much about the game itself, but Bear and Jasky are just, I mean, they're neck and neck. They're both making the same yeah. progress at the same time. It's it's anyone's game right now. I'm surprised to see as many early deaths as I keep seeing. Yeah, it's the regression factor. I think I think we're hitting yeah. that right now. So, so there was a moment. It was probably about 25 minutes deep where I felt like the level started to look blurry. Yeah, Where it, it's like I've been staring at this for too long now, and it's it's not making sense anymore. That can definitely happen. Uh, fatigue yeah. in Mario games and and just platforms in in general can can hit really quickly, and it, it comes in waves. Like I think you got you and Dan for about ten minutes, you you made good progress, you did well, and then ten minutes you both just kept dying to the the first part over and over again, and then ten minutes later you were both making progress again, and then ten minutes later a bit of regression again. So it it does come and go. Uh, and that can affect who who is making the progress and who isn't. Because I mean, both of them now mm. they were consistently making it to the tunnel. They were making progress, and now they're just dying to the first part over and over again. It's almost the same story. Jasky here, though he's uh, he's made it to yeah. the tunnel. It's a good looking run. Ooh, that that that's the saw that I saw you oh. die a lot too. I did die quite. That was the one. That was the saw where in my head I kept thinking you could press a little Z. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't. I they'll never let me live it down. Uh, you did eventually press Z though in the second section. In the second part, I felt like that was a necessary. Ooh, Z. Bear. I tried it many times. Ooh. Oh. I, I think that's a, that's a lead for Bear, if I'm not mistaken. I don't. Is it? I think so. I don't think either player has made it to that conveyor yet. Yeah. But it's only a slight lead, and and again that tiny little lead. Yeah. It's just that first checkpoint that's really going to make a difference here. I feel like there's like no doubt in my mind that they'll both hit the checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, I think for sure. I, I don't yeah. see either player. I mean, they were 15 minutes in. They're both like two or three jumps away. I, say, from I, it. I don't know if you got a good view of me once I finally hit the checkpoint, but I felt like I dusted that second second section right out the gate. You did. No, you you made it through. So, so the muncher and spike chap uh, section, like I think this is the third yeah. series of jumps. That's difficult, and you did it on the first try. That was extremely impressive. I'm curious what how much was left. 
past my my first. Uh, you my got this was getting to the big spike room. You got the to the the one before the conveyors, right? There, there, there. Mm-hmm. You might not have seen them because you were focusing on the section you were on. But yeah, you yeah. there there were three more like levels and then a fourth final jump. Uh, and I think okay. the last section was actually a, it, it's it's easier than the middle section. Oh, bear again! Oh, Spin jump at the good. wrong time. Ah. Uh, Jasky hits that saw again. Yeah, that that tiny tiny spin jump you have to do there. You have to do it a little bit late too, or early. Sorry. Yeah, Dan. I, I think what inevitably uh, uh, killed that Dan's run was just that last like big jump. He really just hit that saw over and over again. I think it would have been a much closer game had he uh, figured that saw out before the uh, the end of the run. Both players, I think we're out of the regression pretty early here, though. Ooh, Jasky's having a lot of trouble with that conveyor, though. That small one. I'm curious where their uh, where their morale levels are at. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll pull up uh, Bear Taffy first and see how he's feeling. Oh, he's actually making good progress here. Hold on, hold on. He might have this. He Let's got it. Fucking go, dude. Yes. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. He's got that was a yes, quick first checkpoint. And this is a huge deal now. Now the timer starts on Jasky's end. Jasky needs to get that checkpoint as quickly as possible because this is where the leads are built. And he's making good jumps here. He could do it here. Oh, he jumps a little early. A little too early, but he he has it. He just needs to execute. Bear takes a death on the the saw and muncher combo, but now this is where Bear can build a huge lead, and this is where the pressure starts to build because you know you have Twitch chat telling you probably where the other player is and the progress that they're making. Yep, and that can <laughs> that can definitely uh, affect your your mindset if you feel like you're falling behind. Bear seems to be struggling though with this combo. Yeah, he's not doing the spin through the middle part up there, which as soon as I tiny jumped it, I was like, this is impossible. Yeah, it, you need to spin jump it for sure. The, the, this whole section, honestly, I spin jumped, except for like two jumps uh, in the clear check. But uh, let's go ahead and listen on Jasky here, see if he's feeling the pressure. I'm also afraid whether I need to spin jump or normal jump on that last jump. That's my one, uh... My one complaint about sight reading on levels like this, especially ones that move so quick where you can't see too much ahead of you, is that you often need a death to know if something's a particular jump. Yeah, he does make a good point there. He, he mentions how, uh knowing what to do when a when a jump uh, that you haven't gotten to yet uh mm -hmm. or I, yeah, I said that in a confusing way but knowing what jump is what uh, when you when you come to it is a is a huge factor and uh and getting a jump on the first try can feel really good and can kind of get you in a good headspace for it even if it's a hard jump but bear is uh, I, he, I think he's doing worse than you were at the second section already He's, he seems yeah, to be struggling. Yeah, I was breezing my way to the that that one middle jump that you have to see. I felt like it, it was all pretty Ooh. Jasky. Easy to get to. Oh, oh, just missed time. Is uh, it? That's yeah. Yep. That that one. It's that the, jump was my killer. The the timing window is pretty forgiving, but it's still pretty fast. Like you, yeah. It, and it's just again that that weird conveyor momentum. Just you, it kind of makes you lose control of how fast you're going for a second. Yeah, Bear seems to be struggling with this, the Muncher and Spike Trap, which is what I'd expect. It's it's difficult, and it works better if you take it quickly, actually. Yeah, I feel like taking it quickly, and honestly, I, I could see the merit of Z-jumping the other ones. I feel like that's a hard one, the Z-jump. Uh, I think that one actually is uh, is, is good either way, watching so. you do it, yeah. I, I thought it was spin jump favored, but watching you do it, I think it's just either it, it is, is good. Let's see if Bear can make it through this. Let's see if he... Uh, no, he does. He I feel like doing this fast is what did it for me. Yeah, that's another section you need to do fast. Yeah. I don't think you have to, but it definitely helps. It definitely helps, yeah, yeah. But I think what this is doing is it's giving Jasky a chance to catch up. 
but he's he's the the time is is running thin now for him. He needs to get this first checkpoint. But since we have so much time remaining in the level, uh, you know, any player can can really make a comeback if another player just has a, a, a section that they really can't figure out. Yeah, that that was my like when I immediately started, I panicked because I had that moment set in of like, oh no, like I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll happen, I think, a lot more on the Kaizo levels. Uh, and again, I call them Kaizo levels personally, but they're really just throwing base levels and, and item mm -hmm. juggling base levels. I think those are going to be a, a wake-up call for all six competitors because I think you you guys are just all used to regular run-and-jump levels, and, and mm. that's why I didn't want to put one the, of those The bomb first. kicking on the second part of 2-7 was really, like, I, I felt like I got good at it, but I mm. that kind of stuff I'm weak. Oh, I want I want him to get there so, so bad. Close. Bear no. Bear is struggling significantly on the second section. What kills me is feeling like when Jasky does finally clear that jump, like when he if he doesn't get got by the spike, I'm worried he's going to make the mistake I did, which is uh, do a big jump where you should do a tiny one. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's it's <clears throat> the last few jumps are easy, but like figuring them out is, at that speed is tough for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like pretty much from the tunnel onward, you're moving at lightning speed. Yeah. And then suddenly, yeah, you have to rein it in a little bit. But yeah, until Bear makes any significant process here or progress, Jasky's got the uh, the the window here to 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 make this competitive again. Yeah, yeah, I have I have I have a lot of faith in Jasky that when he hits that checkpoint, he's going to do well on this section. Same way I feel like Bear's doing well on this section. I'm I'm surprised at the deaths he's taking. Oh, he's made. He's he's at the double munchers now. This is yeah, the done it. the hell section. So double munchers. I honestly, I felt like weren't so bad once I realized I need to not take a running start. Yes, it's it's very standing slow. still Z jumps. It, it yeah, doing it slow like that is what got me there. And I think that's gonna favor Jask. I think Jasky approaches some of these objectives a bit slower, <laughs> which I think in some yeah. cases is an advantage. For sure. I think Bear is the kind of guy to do what he's doing, which is just kind of breeze through things and let his uh, his skill take him forward, which is good most of the time. But when figuring out ob objectives, it can slow Ooh, you there down. There he goes. Yeah, that moving fast through that that chomper section is, is and, crucial. Yeah, he needs to to learn the Z jump. Need here. to spin those. Yeah, you you can't. That was another one that I felt like if, if I wanted to do it without spins, it would drive me crazy because you have to be so precise. Yeah. You can do it fast too, but it is extraordinarily hard to do that section yeah. fast. I, I I think it would require inputs that a human could not do consistently. So taking it slow is is important. Yeah, right, Jasky, he's got a tunnel run here. Oh, he just didn't hit the jump button there. Ah, brutal. Yeah. Sometimes when you hit jump a little too early, uh, the game still considers you in the air, and then it, it won't let you jump when you land. But even though Bear's got a checkpoint lead, I still consider this a close game. It's just gonna, it's gonna be once Bear makes that uh, that progress through the double munchers. I think once he gets past that point, he's gonna start to pull ahead. I, I can't I, wait to see past where I've seen. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that because I'm only I only made it uh, one section past the double yes. munchers. So yeah, there's there's a few more after that, and the third the third the or the second checkpoint is very cool. I don't even I don't know if I want to spoil it for you because it is so cool. Mm. Uh, but uh, maybe I'm we'll... looking forward to going back to this in my own time. Yeah. We'll, we'll... So, will there be replays of levels in the playoffs? In the playoffs, right? In the playoffs, right, we so will yeah, repeat. I feel levels. like it'll be it'll be uh, in our favor to become familiar with all of these. Yes. And uh, of, of course, it is important to uh, to do well in the regular season because the first to top two seeds do get a first round bye. So you will mm. not have to play the first week of the playoffs if you have the second or first best record. Man, I, I am shocked at, at how much Bear is struggling on this second section. I, I think if he had done this a bit cleaner, he would have already taken such a significant lead that Jasky couldn't catch up. But because he's struggling so much... Yeah, it's kind of a... like I can see Jasky, once he hits the checkpoint, they'll be tied up within a minute, you know? Yeah, and and Jasky's issue right now is he's just I think he's hit that regression pocket of like he, mm -hmm. he's not quite making it to the tunnel anymore. 
I know that like he just died on the very first saw, and that was every time that happened to me, I'd have that moment where I went, "Oh no, <laughs> I'm regressing." <laughs> yeah, dying at the very first obstacle is demoralizing. I think we should go ahead and listen in on Bear here and see how he's feeling about the second section because yeah, this yeah. is a, a section where frustration can definitely start to build. He's got that quiet focus going, not saying much. Mm, I am hesitating. I'm hesitating and that's what's getting me killed. I'm hesitating. <laughs> You, you can see that some players like to uh, to remain quiet while they're jumping, and some players like Dan just they need to be talking. Uh, I knew that was gonna get a kill. Yep, brave boy, them munchers. Yep. I think I nearly talked myself into like a tizzy. <laughs> I was talking too much. Yeah, I mean it, it. It can calm you down sometimes. It just depends on the person. I, I personally like. Uh, I don't know. I, th I feel like I've, I've received benefits from both. I, I, I sometimes like to talk and sometimes I like to, thing. I did a very to be quiet. Thing, but I was murdered because of it. Yeah, Bear's still struggling, but Jasky just can't seem to get through this section anymore. It's going to really cost him here. He's had such a large window to catch up to Bear. And he just can't seem to, to get through this first section. Let's see what he's saying about it. Like, I look at this in... If I approach this in terms of, like, a... A Trials-esque scenario... Um, he at least has time to practice the next section. Know what it's about. Even if he's struggling right now... He knows what it's about. He knows what jumps are in it. He knows the inputs that might be required or whatnot. Um... And I think that's an important factor. Oof. You can see maybe he, he knows Bear is ahead of him here. And you can see that maybe affecting his uh, his mental game. That may be the reason as to why he's struggling here. But man, Bear cannot make it to double hunters. He just can't make it. And, and, and that... Uh, Again, you can look back to what you did. You ha you made progress immediately to the double munchers almost. And that means that if Jasky can do what you did before Bear makes progress, he can easily take the lead, like you said, within like yeah, a minute. absolutely. And yeah, at this, yeah, at this point, you still have the lead as well, overall. Uh, and I, Let's go. <laughs> we, we, we've, we're about 30 minutes in now to this one, about halfway. And... I, I don't think I'll hold that lead. I, I feel like just with, with I, I know, I don't know a ton about Bear with this game in particular, but I feel like he's talented enough with gaming that 30 minutes, he'll be able to make some progress here. Uh, you say that, but uh, what I've noticed. I mean, we have been here for about 20 minutes yeah, now, though. What huh? I've noticed is that some players really get stuck on specific obstacles, and for a long time, if it starts to get to them, if it starts to get in their head, they, they, mm -hmm. they can, even in an obstacle they've beaten once, they start to second guess how to do it. Um, and if that happens for multiple objectives, like it's happening to Bear right now, uh, it, it can be tilting, it can be frustrating, and it can just be like a loop, a, a cycle mm -hmm. of getting more and more frustrated. Um, I, 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 I'm watching Jasky right now as well, and I think his main problem is he's doing exactly that. He's second guessing all these jumps that he knows how to do already. He's just not riding yeah. the conveyors long enough. And, yeah, uh, I think as someone too who normally does play kind of like slow and methodical, they they feel like the pressure's on now. So they're you know Jassy's trying to speed it up a little bit, and I think that's hurting. Yeah, Bear really trying to figure out these double munchers. He's doing some mm -hmm. test jumps. Oh, he doesn't spin again though, and it costs him. And every death like that means more deaths leading up to it as well. It's like a yeah an yeah. issue with progress. Jasky finally making it back to the tunnel. Let's see if he can. Oh, see he, he just doesn't. Ah jump fast enough yeah. on that conveyor and it's you know i know we're only 30 minutes in but i feel like it's becoming a little dire for jasky i think if mm -hmm. he's gotten lucky that bear has struggled so much but uh with with, with no progress being made here every extra minute's just gonna hurt that much more yeah i see someone mention uh <laughs> i wonder if we'll see anyone take a breather i 
I, there was uh, several times where I was like, I really know I would benefit from a break right now, oh. but I'm incapable of doing it. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Ooh, man, yeah, it's a, it's a rough one to I, die I, on I there. I think he's out of his regression. Though. I think he's he's making. I feel like that was probably enough getting to that point to be like, I've I see, I'm in it, I'm in the zone. Yeah, he knows he just has to get there. Bear approaching double munchers again, but doesn't quite get the jump. I am legitimately shocked at how much bear is struggling here be just because he breezed through the first section like 10 minutes or about 12 minutes i think he was done and now like you said 20 minutes later he is still mm. he's dying to the first sets of saws and i'll be real those are easy jumps those those first three floors of saws are easy jumps yeah yeah those were like you just kind of breeze right through them mm -hmm. You know, we, we could have a similar situation in the last game where maybe Jasky never quite makes it to the second checkpoint. It is possible, but, I mean, he's going to have a fresh mind going into it, and that can help. That can definitely help. Like, Bear is going to be there having been frustrated that he can't seem to make progress, whereas Jasky hmm. will be like, all right, I haven't seen this before. I, I can't get frustrated with it because I don't know what it is yet. But we, we really want to see him. I like I, I, I'm not rooting for anyone. I'm rooting for close games and and close games are uh are, are, are what i want to see exciting. yeah they're more they're more fun to watch and this game is still close uh yeah it's still very legitimate like, yeah like, if jasky touches that checkpoint i think it's going to be a nail biter i think bear took a little bit of a pause there i'm not sure if that was a yeah. break or just a little bit of a cool off yeah i had one moment where i put i put my controller down i joined my hands together like i was praying and then i picked my controller back up yeah. That's that's the the gamer's reset. <laughs> yeah, I think it is good to. Uh, oh, he's got the spins. Oh, this is huge, huge development. Oh, yep. Yeah, I feel like he's going to. That's the sec well. Yeah, now that he knows how to do it. That yeah, that makes the yeah. that makes us a lot harder for Jasky. Now that was the hold up for Bear was he could not figure out those double munchers. He's figured it out now. Jasky needs to get this now pretty much now yeah. and he's making good progress he's here way. he's got a couple more jumps oh he just oh, misses it again man. that's brutal oh that has been his his killer is that specific jump he gets he gets literally at the same frame every time and it's so close yeah so yeah. so close but let's see now that bears figured that out let's listen back in on him again big thank you for that Jasky! Jasky got it! He's got it! Oh, let's go, dude! We're back on the same I screen. Breath, man. I think I think I'm I think I'm on to something. Let's see, let's hear Bear's reaction to Jasky getting the second checkpoint. Mayor see if his anxiety. chat tells him. I assume is how you say that. Thank you very much for your subscription as well with Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. I want to see. I know exactly what I'm doing wrong there. I just I gotta take the extra. Oh, he's not. He's he's going chatless. So excited, and I'm just like, okay, the new jump is oh, right after this, to. so I just gotta knock this out real quick, and then I. What's, what's Jasky thinking? Let's he's let's find out. Believed. It is anyone's game now. You can see already. You can see him take his oh, time. Oh, buddy. And I I think. This is going to help him. I think with his his slower pace to an objective like this, he could easily take the lead here. And this is this is anyone's game again. Yeah, I, I'm. I oh, really see how he does with these. I'm. Um, mm. This is yeah no the, the that specific section and then the muncher saw combo might hurt him though because you do need I'm to go sure fast they only there. Get worse. Yeah. He's just taking them slow though, and oh, that's. At least the muncher hitboxes are like mm. more fair. That's like, where I'm like, I, I feel like just yeah, so breezing be... through that section with tiny taps. It yep. just gets you there so quick. It does. Uh, but now we need to see if Bear can uh, can use that that knowledge that he has to to give him a better lead. He dies in the double munchers again though. Mm. He's yeah, really he struggling. Took a walking start up to it. I think he got stuck in the trying to go too fast there. Yeah, <laughs> should have taken a second. This is awesome though, seeing them both side by side. You can see, you know, Bear's been here for longer, so he's breezing through the first three yep. saws. 
And we still got a lot of game to go. We're only 35 minutes in. Jasky slips and slides into the muncher, though. Oh, brutal. If he doesn't learn to take that fast, it's going to cost him time overall, though. Because if he thinks, oh, I have to take this slow, every time he gets to it, it's going to be an extra couple of seconds every mm -hmm. restart. So he needs yeah, to be he's consistent. Going through these very slowly. He yeah. needs to not die on this jump almost ever if he's going to take it slow. Because then, then, then it gives him an advantage because he never dies on it. it. That could save him time inevitably. So these are a couple of big jumps. I think he's going to figure that out pretty easily. And yeah, he does. Yep. This is this is the key here, though. This muncher saw combo. He needs to go quick. Will he figure yeah, that out? I'm curious out? to see how he approaches it right out the gate. You can't. I, I think when Panga played this map, I think he did take it slow. So it is possible, but. Ooh, he, he has it. He has it. He just jumped too high. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both players just died at the same exact point at the same time. There, that was that so. Was Bear cool. is technically only like two obstacles ahead. Uh, right yes, now. it's it's back to neck and neck. It's just that that knowledge that is the advantage Bear has right now. Oh, you can see Jasky speeding it up a little bit, getting a little kick there into that goes. that section. Yeah, yeah, this is huge. He's probably realizing it's, it's not as daunting as it seems. Like it's oh, Bear this though. Is, I feel like this right here is the true first <sighs> difficult. There, okay, here we go now. Can Jasky figure out the double munchers faster? Bear has made it, I think, to the third muncher, maybe the fourth. It looks like the third. I think the third muncher. Yeah, I believe it was the Bear's third. Gotten. Jasky spin jumps immediately. He's figured it out instantly. Oh, he does die goodness. to the second muncher, okay. but this race is now tied, essentially. I know Bear still has the lead, but in terms of progress... Yeah. We're, Once we're again, much two tied. obstacles behind. That's it. Yeah, and this is the catch-up factor. I mean, we had a checkpoint clear at 12 minutes and a checkpoint clear at 30-something minutes. Well, Bear just cleared it for the first he time. He did. I wasn't looking. This is this is so, big as well, but... Oh, he went back over. He think, he, does he think he has to do it in one go? It's very hard to do. You can do it in one go, but it is extremely hard. He does do it, though. Impressive. And he's on to the conveyor section That's the now. That's I died on. This is his art. He's officially passed me. He is. And now these jumps are pretty easy. It's it's about timing now instead of precision. You know the conveyors are there. Let's see how he's uh how he's thinking about it. Ooh, he goes for regular jumps. Back I'm to upset spin jumps. This is next because I feel like I would have shined. Ooh. Oh, I hit the fucking button. Bullshit! Ooh. Oh! Goddamn Z jumps, man. They're so unreliable. <laughs> he does have that 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 you can you can feel the frustration there. It is a big lead for him now, but that he he, he I think he had that exact problem that I mentioned earlier, where he hit the Z jump when he was still slightly in the air, and that it basically just eats your jump. It eats your jump alive. Both players so close though. But now Bear is breezing through this double mantra section. He's finally figured it out in, at just the time he needed to, too. Cause... Yeah, yeah. Where I, I feel like Jasky has gotten into it once, but he's going to be struggling for a bit to figure yep. it out. Bear taking that jump so aggressively. You can take that slow, and it works just fine. That might cost him some deaths later on. And there's the conveyor factor. You see how he went way further than he wanted to go, and that launched him into the saw. And it's just going to see, like, Jasky needs to slowly make progress here in, in order to pass Bear. And now the third checkpoint comes into effect here. If if either player can get the, or excuse me, the second checkpoint, then that's a huge advantage. As Jasky, his second attempt at the double munchers. Oh, he might still be unsure about the spin jump, though. Oh, he does have it. Oh. Oh, just uh, jumps a little too early on that one. Another death, the double munchers, and Bear still maintains his lead. But we still have plenty of time left. And Bear still see he's taking the double munchers too fast. That could cost him as well. Let's go ahead and listen to Jasky here to see how he's taking the second section. God damn it. <laughs> Bear back into the double munchers and takes another death. Fuck you, you fucking dog. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, you fucking dog. I can't believe you made this. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> it was a beautiful song. It was a lovely song. I, I really appreciate it. He's back to double munchers now. Let's see how he handles it. No, oh, he does the running start. Fuck off. <laughs> Eat ass. <laughs> All right. Uh, both, both, both players definitely frustrated right now. This section is uh, extremely precise. But it, it's we're looking at two different types of play here. You can see Bear breezes through it every time, goes for speed. Jasky just takes it a bit slower. And every time Bear dies without making progress, like that right there, that gives Jasky another kind of few seconds to catch up. But now with 20 minutes left, will he have enough time to, to pass him? I think Jasky can easily pass him here, but it's just a matter of uh, how long will it take. Yeah, I feel I, I hate to say it because I want to believe in Jasky and have immense faith in the boy. But uh, I, I am start, I'm doubting his ability to progress much further in 20 minutes. I think the big thing is going to be his first attempt at the uh, attempt at the conveyors. I think he will make it to the conveyors, and I think that if he gets it on the first try, that could make the difference. Mm -hmm. But he's really got us. If he's going to go this slow, he really has to stop taking deaths like this. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. He just won't have the opportunity to do it. I'm a little upset that I, I I had no idea you had the option to play as a as a a pink or blue toad. Yeah, you can change in the options. I'm gonna stick to Mario. <laughs> I am upset. <laughs> I am. I'm just used to Mario at this point. Yeah. It is still a close game, but Bear still with that advantage. Is I think both players are again hitting that pocket of regression. Bear just struggling on those double mungers. Oof, yeah. Which is surprising. I, I felt like the double mungers were a thing like once you figured out how to do it, they became a little trivial. Yeah, I think that's where the, the going too fast is hurting him. I think he, he goes, all right, I know I have it. I know how to do it. Let's just do it. And he just takes it slightly too hard. And But Jasky on the same side of things, this obstacle right before the double mungers is hurting him because... Uh, He's uh, he's taking deaths on it because he's going too slow. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're having some you can tell they're just like fatigue deaths. Like Jasky just ran right into the double double chomps. Yep, and just took another death on one of the early saws. I think you can definitely gauge how well someone is doing by whether or not they're taking deaths on the early saws. Mm -hmm. I think Bear, since he's not taking info from chat. I, I bet you he's he thinks he's falling behind here. I think he he thinks that the the difficulty of this section has maybe let Jasky pass him. It hasn't happened yet, but I could see him thinking that because of how long he's been on this yes. section. Yeah, he's been here for the majority of this time. Like, I, when did he get here again? Was it eleven minutes? Eleven or twelve minutes? Yeah. Oh, double launchers. He's made it past them again. All right. Yep. He hasn't done that in a minute. He, that jump is insane I, that he keeps doing. That is Yeah, the madness. fact that he keeps doing it fast and landing it is mind-blowing to me. <laughs> he can make some progress here, though. No, goes too far. The conveyor momentum. His oh, point is yeah. that third saw on the next level, if I remember incorrectly. That's yes, the point Jasky needs the to get to. final saw on the next level. Jasky back to the saw and muncher combo. Has made it through. Oh, there he goes. Oh, just, now last time he got the double munchers, he just yeah, yeah, just can't seem to get that first one. It's a and very keep struggle on the third one. I feel like. yeah, <laughs> the, the third double muncher keeps getting him. I think we're running close to running out of time for that that second checkpoint because uh, you haven't seen the jump yet, but the final like section has a very menacing looking jump. It looks really scary, but it's not too bad. It, it's one of those jumps you have to figure out. Uh, and once you figure it out, it's relatively easy, but it looks very scary. <sighs> Jasky, uh, he needs to start a little bit further back, I think. He's getting a little bit too close to the double launcher. Let's go ahead and listen back in on Bear here, see if he's still frustrated with what's going on. Her pigtails get in the way, exactly. Does anyone else, like, 
Does any other character have that issue? No other character has pigtails, right? Oof, he just can't make that first double muncher. Never change from Toadette, all right. I've done that at least three times and it's very frustrating. I keep doing that exact same thing and it's probably because of the goddamn pigtails. <laughs> Bear blaming the pigtails for that uh, that jump. All hitboxes are the same though. And again, so I, I was seeing it in chat. For those of you that don't know, Ryan will be a little bit late. He informed me of it yesterday. So we will have a bit of time in between this game and the next game. But coming up in uh, in some amount of time, we will have Mathis versus Northern Lion as our final game of the day. So look forward to that uh, in a little bit. Let's go ahead and listen on back in with Jasky again, see how he's doing. Uh, Toad? I'll get there. Yep, we'll get there. I'm interested, actually. I'm not sure what he's okay. trying here. Oh. I guess he's trying to do it in one fast motion? Maybe. But it's a little late to be learning that. I feel like he's got to stick to yeah. what he knows. Yeah. out about momentum for the double muncher jump. Oh, so there you go. That was all about. He explained it for us. He was just testing out for the double munchers in a free space. But man, this is still so close. We're, we're getting down to the wire here, but just one big burst of speed from Jasky here, he can take the lead, but he just can't get those double munchers. Both players really struggling here. And now I'm interested. I wonder, had you have had this much time on this section, mm -hmm. uh, do you think you would have made it to the to the next checkpoint? I know you a haven't million seen. percent. I think if I had another five minutes, I would have made it to the next <laughs> checkpoint. May I recognize the arrogance in this. I, I think you'll change your mind when you see that last jump, but... Uh, Probably. Yeah. I feel like I would have gotten to the conveyors in another minute or two, honestly. Because yeah. I, I had already gotten to the saws and died on the last Ooh. saw. And I was like, I just need to not slide. I got this. Bear made it through the double munchers, but died to the first saw the next jump. And that's mm -hmm. a tricky one. That one is misleading. It, it uh, I'm surprised that that was the first death to that saw because it uh, you think you have a lot more room to work with than you do. And I, and I wouldn't be surprised if Jasky takes a death there too. If he does eventually make it past the double munchers. But Bear, I feel like he's really getting into a groove right now. He's back to the double munchers again. Oh, he walks into the third one. Oh, though. no. You yeah, hate he to see that. Yeah, really fast. But, uh, yeah. This th this section definitely, like, has to do with, like, groove and feeling. Like, if, if you get into a good swing of things, you can very easily breeze through uh, the first, mm -hmm. at least half of this. You can see Jasky, he as well has taken uh, most things pretty quickly, even though he was going slow at the start. Yeah, he's probably getting a little more comfortable with it now. Th this jump's been killer for him, though. Yeah, he, he keeps spending a lot of time thinking about it, too, when he gets to it. <sighs> oh, the sliding bear. Double oh. munchers. Oh. Past the saws. Onto the conveyors the conveyor again. This could, be, this could be a win right here if he can make it past this. I don't see Jasky catching up if Bear can make this. Doesn't make it to where he got before. Yeah, one saw off. Yeah, that last section up there does seem pretty difficult with the spikes. It, My goodness. it looks much harder than it is, but that still makes it seem, you know, daunting mm -hmm. when you when you first get to it. It really is. Uh, so what, if you if you notice, the conveyors are reversed. The, the conveyors oh, are going against oh. you. Jasky at the doubles. He is at the Again. doubles. He finally made the first one. Oh, he just can't seem to get the, the flow of it down. That might be the difference maker here with uh, our 10-minute yeah. timer approaching. Yeah, 10 minutes to go. I mean, how long is it taking them to get to that point? It's got to be a good, what, 20 seconds? Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. You figure they, they've only got, you know. 
a very limited number of attempts left yep. in them. It's really going to come down to, does Jasky get an attempt at the conveyors, and how well mm -hmm. does he do on them? Because Bear has I'm had... I'm fairly confident, yeah. I think if he if he passes the uh, double munches, I think he'll be... I think he'll clear that saw section with no problem and get to the belts. I don't think that Bear is going to make much more progress here in 10 minutes. I think he's he's having too many issues. I don't see him making it past that daunting jump on the first try. So I think... I think we're out of range of another checkpoint. I don't think either player is going to make it. Um, mm. But uh, it, it's it's tough because if Bear does make it to at least the objective and dies on it, that will count as progress and make it that much harder for Jasky to uh, to make it past there. But Bear, he's here again at the conveyors. He's got the timing down, it seems, but he just misjudges the jump again. And it's it's coming down to the wire now. Jasky's hope is uh, is dwindling. He really needs to make it past the double munchers at least once, and even then, it's still a task to get to where Bear got. But I mean, we could potentially see a last second victory here if Jasky gets a burst of uh, of progress. It's really a matter of can he make it past those double munchers. He's made it to them again. Can he finally figure it out? Not quite. But I think this is showing that uh, the, just that extra time that Bear had has uh, made the difference. Uh, it was really like, I mean, you, you can look at this and you say if Jasky had figured out the double lunchers much earlier, I think he'd be in the lead right now. Uh, but because he can't seem to figure out the, those jumps, uh, it, it has really costed him his ability to, to catch up. Bear again to the double munchers, but again, out of the double munchers. Jasky again to his uh, saw and muncher combo, but takes a death. We'll go ahead and take one more listening on Bear here before the end as we approach our one hour time limit. Fuck. Cut your goddamn hair, Toadette! <laughs> Uh, you know it is interesting. Uh, he says that, and I wonder if the 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 braid uh, the braided hair does like it doesn't affect the hitbox obviously, but does it mess with your view of the hitbox? Does it does it distract you from where Toadette's actual hitbox is? I wonder if that can uh, that can cause issues, and that might be what he's struggling with. It could of course just be the level is very hard, and he's. Not doing the jump right. We'll take one last listen on Jasky here before the end. And got munch. I should slow down. I'm trying to go quick is only killing me. Opting to take it a bit slower now. Bear gets past the double munchers, but takes a death to the next saw. Man, I keep trying to pull back, but I should pull back later. Munches suck. Those <laughs> jumps suck just because of the hitbox. Well, 
I don't know, Justin, with five minutes left, do you think he can do it? Sorry, I was a little sidetracked there, but uh, I don't, I feel like it's a lock at this point. You think it's a lock? It could happen. Could happen. It is, uh, it is looking a bit grim for Jasky. It is. He's really going to have to, uh, if he does get that one attempt, he's going to have to be pretty much perfect afterwards. Less than five minutes remaining. It's looking like Bear will take this game unless Jasky can uh, can figure out those double munchers right now. I think he can. I think he can. It's just a matter of can he get past it. I think if he gets past it, he can absolutely do it. Here we go. This might be one of his last attempts up here, and he just it's it's the same death. Bear's happy, just looking to extend that lead in the final moments here. You gotta feel both players probably feel on the time really hard here, as I'm sure they're keeping track of time themselves. Four minutes left. Jasky, another shot at the double munchers. He does finally make it past the first one. Oh, but just... He's, he hasn't made it past the second one yet, has yep. he? And he takes another one okay. there, yeah. Four minutes left. I mean, we've had two close games here. I'm very interested to see what the next game will hold for us in terms of uh, how close the match will be. Bear, back to the conveyors Bear again. Yeah. This, this could absolutely seal the deal here, for sure. He's up to the final. Big jumps, and he's... Oh, he... I think his jump got eaten again. Oh, and it's still his PB there. It does. I don't think it'll matter. Three mm. minutes left. I gotta think Jassy's next double muncher attempt will be his last. And this is looking like it. This could very well be his last attempt. And it just, yeah, it doesn't mm. seem like it's going to happen. Brutal. I think yeah, that. I mean, he just got there in 30 seconds about. So realistically, he could have another three or four shots at that, but he has to make it there flawlessly every time. Bear just absolutely breezing. Yeah, he's got the flow of it down so well, but yeah, he, he is flying. Jasky takes another death. I think I think we're pretty much done here. Whoa, bear cutting that close. Let's see if he can maybe make some progress though. Gets to the. I feel like he always gets to that final oh, section he, with no problem. Do you see that? That that is oh, such a key goodness. thing in Mario Maker. He died two times by going into that saw too late, and that. You could see the hesitation on the third attempt. So much hesitation mm -hmm. that it pulled him all the way back and made him miss the jump in the other direction. All right, this is absolutely really? Jasky's last attempt. Yes. Makes it over oh, the first he's, he's one. He made it. But again, he I just think he doesn't oh, quite understand really. the momentum of it. Realistically, if he makes it there again, he does have one more chance. But if he takes any death here now, it's... Uh, Pretty much over. As Bear makes progress again as well. Hey, he's done it. Let's see if he, he figures out the reverse daunting. conveyor. He has a minute, so let's see if he figures out that these conveyors are going backwards. He did. He There you go. Look at this. Oh, he does die to the second one, but did Ooh. not get scared by the jump. And that yeah, absolutely, absolutely will seal the deal. I, I think it's yeah, pretty much impossible to. at this point. We'll this see. Moral victory. Maybe. No. Nope. Last attempt by Jasky. Didn't get it. Yep, there it is. Well, congratulations to Bear on taking game number two. A close one, though. For absolutely a close one. As uh, 
as we saw how that that just that difference of checkpoint time gives you that that edge but it i mean it was it really just came down to that double muncher objective i mean bear has it figured yeah, out double munchers. and jasky does not have it figured out so i wonder if they will be the villain in the next match uh, we'll have to we'll have to see we got 10 seconds left bear again just goes to show how well he's learned that and there we go i'm gonna go hop in and say congratulations to bear real quick yeah yeah and uh, send my regards i will perfect bear taffy yo buddy time is up oh I just, oh, fuck. I just <laughs> hey just barely missed it dude i was right there god damn it all right don't worry about it my man you've won I won. You did win. It was very close. It was very, Yay. very close. But right. uh, you made it to the conveyor section at the top. Jasky just couldn't make it past those double munchers. And, yeah, uh, that was a tough part for sure. It was extremely, extremely tough. But you did it, man. You got a week one victory under your belt. Congratulations. Yay. All right. That feels great. Uh, you're welcome to join for commentary if you'd like. No pressure, though. If you want to, just hop up above with Justin, and I'm going to go let Jasky know what's going on. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Jasky. Hi. Unfortunately, uh, time has run out, and I must I say heard. that you, know, you did not make it as far as Bear did, but it was very close. Uh, I've also heard, yeah. GG. Yeah. GG's. Uh, the double munchers seem to just be too much for you there. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck them, <laughs> and uh, fuck you. Uh, it was, I mean, it, it, it was close after that, though. Bear had made it uh, just a couple sections higher than that. Uh, and yeah. and those sections were a bit easier than the uh, the double munchers, so that was really yeah, the yeah. difference maker there. But hey, close game. I mean, that you're going up against what's likely the best player in the league, and you you, you caught you, you caught up with him. You you know he got a checkpoint 12 minutes in, and you managed to bring that all the way back. Uh, yeah. So that's I was saying. I think where I lost was uh, I knew how to beat the level the well the first section for so long, but I stayed there for so long, so I didn't get as much time in the second section. And I think that's where I lost it. Yeah, it seems like that you hit a second pocket of regression on that first section, yeah. uh, and and that's that's what the difference a checkpoint can make in these. But hey, I mean, uh, it's not a bad showing at all, and uh, we'll see what you can do next week. Uh, if you'd like to join us for commentary, you can pop up above into the yeah. main commentary section, and we're gonna watch uh, Ryan and Mathis go 